Well, so far, when we've talked about couple moments, we've really just dealt with the magnitude. Okay. And sometimes we would say clockwise or counterclockwise, you know, positive or negative, that kind of thing. But what if we've got uh, something three dimensional, you know, take, like take a look at this. How are, how are we going to make that work out? Well, uh, it's really not bad. Okay. It's really not bad. In fact, I'm just going to kind of a sketch a solution for you here. Uh, because you can you can work this out easy. What you want to do is you want to pick out what you want to use for the moment arm and which force you want to use. Okay, obviously don't use both forces. That wouldn't work out because that's going to give you zero. Well, okay, that's not entirely true. If you wanted to, like, never mind. Um, so we could put our moment arm. Oops. Uh, right down the uh, right down that pipe there. So we could call this R, and then we would work with this value for F here, and then we would just take um, R cross F and be done with it. All right. Um, or we could go the other way with it. Okay, we can completely undo all of this and make our point this way. In that case, then we would use F down here just like that. Okay. And when I was working through this, that, that happened to be the way that I worked through it because then I knew I could just define R to be um, 0.4 along the X axis, 0.4 zero zero okay and then my force all right is a magnitude of 450 it's going nowhere in x okay but in y it's going four fifths and in z it's going negative three fifths All right, just like that. So you just, all you have to do is just define your vectors and then take your cross product, okay? And so I'll let you do that there. Um, but piece of cake, it's all there is to it, all right?